Brave Boss is a Virginia exclusive. Head of Brave Boss in charge. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. Hashtag pretty gay in the comments. Okay. I want to come in and talk to you guys about some of the things that the girls are girl, the girls are mad at us, sis. The girls are upset with us braiders, with us natural hair stylists. They're upset. So I want to come in and tell you guys a couple of things that people are saying about braiders and natural hair stylists out here in these streets. Now, I'm going to say what's the problem, but I'm also give us the solution. First things first. A lot of people are not interested in these deposits, y'all. A lot of people don't like these deposits now. Now, you and I both know we have nothing wrong with the deposit. We choose to do deposits because we want to make sure that people are confirming their appointments. However, some of y'all deposits is a little expensive, and some of y'all deposits is ridiculous. Like, how you ask somebody to give you a deposit, but you don't tell me how to give you a deposit? Like, no cash app, no zone, no nothing. I don't even have no instructions. So if you are going to be out here doing deposits, I want you to, one, make your deposits affordable, and two, make sure you're telling people how they can deposit, how to do the deposit. Do you want cash app? Do you want Zelle? What do you want? Do you have a booking system already set up? So make sure you're looking into the deposits. The second thing the girls are mad at this, the girls are mad when you only have a booking site only. Now, you guys know, I'm a little old school. I prefer to be text or, you know, communicate with people before they sit in my chair. However, I know that the new day and age, many people don't even want to communicate with you. They just want to book. So you can offer if they need to call you. You guys should be having a phone number, not your own personal number. You should have a business number that people can contact you Monday through Friday, Monday through Saturday, whatever your hours are, so people can contact you so they can ask any follow-up questions that they may have. You can get a Google Voice number, you can get a text now number. Getting the number in the new 2022s and beyond, it's not that deep. Just get a Google number, get a text number, make sure it's available on your booking site. The next thing the girls are mad at is the prices. Not necessarily the prices, you can charge whatever you want. Next year you go to my video, I'm gonna let it slide up here, where I tell you to charge what you are worth. However, people are concerned and very upset with us about your prices versus the quality that they're getting. Now, you guys know that I, I believe you, that if you are going to charge what you're worth, you need to make sure your skills is up to par. You need to make sure that your product is up to par. You need to make sure that your styling is up to par. You need to be on your game, okay? You can't be out here just charging just because you see everybody else charging 85 for straight backs. You're going to charge 85, but your straight backs look like you you did the girl hair today, but she like she had her she got her hair done a week ago. Like your, the bright a client should not leave your chair looking raggedy. A client shouldn't leave their hair looking to go get another appointment from somebody else because you didn't do no good job. Okay, so make sure your prices. Even though I'm telling you to charge what you're worth, make sure your prices is matching the quality of work that you are giving your people. And what people are comparing it to is they're com comparing 2020 20, 2022 braiders and beyond. They're comparing them to the early the early 2000s and the 90s braiders, right? You know, 90s braiders, something about a good 90s braider that's going to grip it. It's going to look it's gonna look like it's supposed to look. So I need for the new worlds to make sure that your prices match the quality that you're giving the clients, okay? The next thing the girls is mad at, and I'm a little mad at this too with some of y'all, is y'all got too many rules. The rules I see on some of these sites is crazy. Okay, you can't park in the front, you need to park in the back, or else you're going to get a ticket. If you come 15 minutes late, you're going to you're gonna pay me $35 late fee, and I'm not going to get to you until an hour later. Or, the, my favorite one that I see on people's um, thing is just because just because you got an appointment, and you make it to your appointment on time, doesn't mean that you're going to get your hair done on time. That just means you solidified your appointment, ma'am. So you got me here at 9 15, but you're not gonna touch my hair until 10 30 because you got somebody else in your chair. No ma'am, no ma'am, no walk. No ma'am, no walk. No, no, no. We're not doing that. Okay? The rules you implement for your clients are the same rules you need to implement for yourself. So if you don't want your clients to be late, you don't be late. If you want your clients to show up prepared, you need to be there prepared. If you want your clients to, to have a, a, a easy processing through their payment and, and the rules and regulations that you have, cool. But you have to, the same standards you're setting for the clients are the standards you need to set for yourself. So some of y'all got all these rules, which I respect that I know where rules come from. Rules, rules usually come from the fact that you've either had a 
raggedy client or you've heard other people's stories so you have all these rules in place to buffer you from raggedy clients but then you can't be raggedy along with the clients okay so you can have all the rules you want so i'm not saying don't have no rules i'm just saying some of the rules y'all got is ridiculous okay you're doing too much you might want to if anybody who got rules and regulations and policies yeah i need you to reread them reread them out loud read them to your mommy your cousin your sister somebody and ask them does this sound does this sound okay you know is this sufficient you don't you don't need no way out dramatic rules and regulations just deal with the rules that you need to have especially about payment and arriving and refunds i respect that but all these extra little stuff y'all want people to do oh don't buy rastafari hair you need to buy this hair you need to buy pre-stretch that's cute that you have a preference but everybody don't want to do that and that can turn people off from coming to you as a braider so the rules yeah just just reread your rules and figure out if these rules are necessary okay and then the last thing is that people are very upset with the rules. They're upset with us about our customer service. A lot of people are saying Braiders customer service, natural hair stylist customer service is poor. Boo. It's in, it's, it's down the drain, right? Because a lot of us know that many people, if once they find a good braider, they're gonna rock with you. They're gonna keep coming. Most of the time they're gonna patronize you. But just because a client becomes comfortable with you and you become cool with a client does not mean you get to do a client any old kind of way. Example. You cannot switch up on a client in the last 15 minutes just because you know they're cool, right? Now, if something comes up, there's nothing we can do about that. But some people are, are making all these maneuvers and changes with clients because they know that they kind of have that client in the bag. So they will literally switch it up with the client that they've been knowing, poor customer service, to get a new client, which I know... You should treat your good client, not your good clients, you should treat your new clients great, but you need to keep the clients that have been coming to you as great as you treat the new people, okay? So a lot of us, bad customer services, we're not responding to text messages, you take it two, three days later to respond to somebody about their hair, um, you know, when you gonna do it, you ain't giving them a time, you're pretty much having bad customer service, you need to be answering your phones on time, you need to have clear cut business hours, you need to be responding to people if they have questions because Yes, for some of us it might be a side hustle, but for many of us this is the bag. This is our money. This is how we get our bills paid. So the last thing you need is somebody to complain about, you didn't respond to them when they're trying to spend money with you. You guys saw how that this was helpful again. This is what the girls are saying that some of us braiders with natural hairstyles saw her doing. So I'll be talking to you guys later. Bye y'all.